Hi Slobies! Welcome back to another DIY and today I'm so excited about this one. I think I say that all the time. I really am because I just love textured belts. Here we are. We're going to be making these awesome jeweled looking belts. I decided to show you guys how to shred chiffon so that it looks like feathers. But if you want, you can use feathers if you choose to. I just think that feathers can look a little costume-y. And so yeah, if you want to, just hang around and we'll get started on this tutorial. For the base of the belt, you'll need a piece of leather that is 2 inches wide and the length will be the measurement of your waist plus 3 inches. Now you're going to divide the width of the leather in half and you're just going to draw a line right down the middle of the strip of leather. Now draw a line half an inch in on one end of the strip of leather. You're going to fold in both sides to the middle of the leather and mark in the folded line. So from that fold, draw an angled line towards the middle to create a trapezoid shape and cut out the corner. Go ahead and repeat that onto the other side of the leather. Now with fabric fusing tape, I place it on one side of the leather and I fold the raw edge to the center line that we drew in earlier. And then I place a piece of cotton on top of that and I iron the leather to the fused tape. And I keep ironing down the length of the leather. Now I repeat that onto the other raw edge and I just keep ironing along the length of the leather. Now the fuse tape will hold this belt together very nicely without having to sew and because leather is one of those kind of materials where if you place a needle into it, it'll just leave a hole. So fuse tape is a really great way to go. Now to finish off the base of the belt, I went ahead and I placed a piece of fuse tape at the end and then I fold in the tab and I just iron it to fuse the fuse tape to the leather and then I repeat that onto the other side. So at the front of the belt, I make a mark at every inch and I set this belt aside and it's time to work on the embellishments. So for the shredding effect, I'm going to use silk but any type of chiffon would work beautifully. First, I'm going to cut the fabric into strips of one and a half inches and I fold it down into a square or as closely as a square as I can. And now I cut it out into a circle and I make cuts to the center of the circle so it'll look kind of like a flower. Now you can leave it like this but I really love the shredded look. So I just grab one petal and I just pull and this will pull out a few threads and it will leave it frizzy and distressed looking and I just absolutely love the way it turns out. So it does seem a little bit tedious but I truly love this kind of detailed work and I kind of feel really relaxed when I do it. So to put everything together, you are going to need some rhinestones or gems and these metal filigree circle things and the hard work of all your shredded petals. Now to place them onto the belt, I pierce a hole through the leather on the marking that we had created earlier. I layer three pieces of silk and the filigree on top and I feed my needle through. And lastly, I feed my rhinestone through and then I pull the needle to the back of the belt. And to start on the next one, I just pierce through the next marking and I start all over again. And I just keep doing this until I complete the belt. And to finish off everything, I just add on a chunky hook and eye on each end and voila, a fabulous and expensive looking belt. And so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY. I just really love how high quality this belt looks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're going to try out this DIY, be sure to hashtag it with S-L-O-A-B-N. Send the photo to any one of my social media networks so I can take a gander and share it with others. If you want to support my channel, go ahead and like this video, share it with others, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Come back next weekend for another DIY. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to rock on Flobies. Bye! Hey 
guys, Lobies! Welcome back to another DIY. Today I have another holiday DIY gift that you can make to give your friends and family. If you guys do receive a lot of flowers, 